Launch Base Zone. The final level of Sonic 3. Oh, they've been alerted. Oh no. Yeah, I like this level. I also like the music. It's just... It's so cool because they're constructing the Death Egg, which is in the background. It's just such a cool idea. And then obviously Sonic and Knuckles is the culmination of all that. It's just... It's such a, such a great idea and actually quite huge in scale for a game back in its day. Because it was... It was different. You know. Different to be able to have something that... I guess... Extensive in the background. It is impressive. I mean, before it was just lush fields or whatever, but now it's an entire space station. So... Yeah, that's impressive, I think. You can disagree if you want. I think it's quite impressive. Ah, I would like this. Now, don't go about thinking that there's no way to get special stages. Oh no, there's still special stages in this area. Um, I don't know where they are, but they, they are still there. So you can still, if you're still after the seven chaos animals by this point, you can still get them. You have not blown it, don't worry. There is still plenty of chance. I just have no idea where they are, and I don't need to get them because I have them already. But it's not the point. The point is, you can still get them. So I wouldn't worry about that if you are at any point when playing this game. I don't want the water shield. Okay, change my mind. Like the water shield now. <laughs> Some interesting circumstances arose, and I've decided it would be a lovely idea to have the water shield. <laughs> and as I say that, I've decided that having the water shield is also now not a great thing. For I have no need for the water shield. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Is it just down here the entire time? Possibly. Excellent. I don't know why I didn't spin dash for that. Yeah, I really don't know why I didn't spin dash for that. Oh well. Yeah, what can you do? It's not a difficult level or anything. It's fun. It's just a bit of fun, really. It's a good old time. I really didn't see the spikes there. I don't know how I didn't see it, but I didn't. Oh well, never mind. Caused my- oh, okay. I can completely understand how- ah! Uh... Well, that was mean. Where's... Trap? Well, fuck you too! Okay. Oh my fucking god! There was no way I could have possibly seen you! Thank you. Alright, good. That's not a platform. Alright, good to know. Yay! No! Yes, I have one ring. That's all I need. My god, this level is destroying me. Please! Just... Be kind to me. Oh dear. We'll see if uh, Act 2 will be kind. It may not be. I think that, yeah, I was going to say, I think that comes down and crushes you, so I will be cautious. Okay. Still alive. God damn it. Oh my god, that was close. So, Sega have come forth recently and said that, because Atlas bought them out, if you weren't aware, they bought them out in 2013. They said that they've learned a lot from working with Atlas, they've realised their mistakes that they've made in the past, and they're going to try and rectify it. So, there is a new Sonic Boom game coming out, but it's not by Sega. Sonic Boom was never Sega. So, this is very interesting. What they're saying sort of almost suggests that they're working on their own Sonic game. 
because they've learned from their mistakes, they're gonna try and, like, not do it over, but they're... Like, Sonic Boom is a spin-off, like, it's always been stated as that. And so whilst there's a new Sonic Boom coming out, and it's a 3DS 2D one, so it's not actually the horrible, horrible 3D version, um, it's still interesting to see what's going on. So, the thing is, like, Sega are actually gonna probably do some really good work, um, because Atlas at the moment can actually do no wrong. Well then, thank you, Knuckles. Yeah, seriously, Atlas can do no wrong at the moment. And, oh, am I dead? No. Uh, and Sega, in extension, might be trying to fix what they've, what they've wronged. So, you know, we might be seeing... We might be seeing another Sonic. Because next year's 25th, 25th anniversary, so we might actually be seeing something good here. Which would be exciting. He's not the boss, so I don't know why I'm going after him. <laughs> was lucky. Oh dear. As long as I have one ring, this is actually a boss where I can hit you, so... Uh, yeah, about the whole one ring thing. As long as... Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, so many seagulls, though. All of the seagulls. Yeah, as long as I got... As long as I get 50 rings um, in this level, I will be fine, I think. But here it is, the final level of Sonic 3. I know, it's already over. It's surprising, isn't it? It's gone by so quickly. It's I've been recording for an hour and 38 right now, and I've done everything that I can apart from this level. It is time to end the game. Oh, but there's so much more. So, so much more. This isn't the only game, you know. There's another game to be experienced. And it's the same game, sort of, technically, completely. What am I saying? What am I babbling about? What kind of words are spewing from my face region? Well, you're about to find out next time in the next video of Dragon Ball Z. But that's completely true. You will actually find out next time if you weren't aware already on what's happening in this game, series, franchise, thing. But I'm not about to spoil it all now, that would ruin the fun. Well, I didn't make that. No! As soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna die. Well, at least I got hit, so I didn't, I don't feel like I would have gotten 50 rings and then screwed it up. So there is that, I guess. Oh no. Do I have to go that way? It sure felt like it. Yeah, I do. That's evil. But I commend it. <laughs> it, it oh, okay, we're going this way now. Cool, alright. I'm on board with that. I can go this way. I like this way, it's always nice. No, like this, this, the other way is overrated. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. It always, there's so many, oh my god! <sighs> well, I was gonna say, there's so many things that this game just catches you off guard with. That was definitely one of them. That I did not see coming. Well played. I can't get angry at that. That's brilliant. <laughs> okay, I need a ring. Okay, there's one. Oh yeah, doesn't it flood the stage a little bit more? Or not? Never mind. I think it just puts me in a pipe. Which is cool. I'll take that one. What are the tails? You got hit by something. Is it that? Is it that laser? Which I've managed to avoid every time somehow. Because <laughs> if it is, that's amazing. <laughs> if 
it isn't, then I don't know. Right. 20 rings. Can I get 20 rings from somewhere? Probably not, but we're gonna try anyway. If I get 20 rings, it will just generally make my life easier. That's the reason I want it, but... I don't have to get it, I mean... I won't be angry or annoyed if I don't, you know. I would just prefer to get 15 more rings. <gasps> oh! Oh, it's amazing! It's a miracle! Let's not squander this. Let's not ruin this precious moment. Whilst we're running, let's collect all the rings we can. I'm unsure on where I have to go. Ah, that would be it. I don't need to use the Cup of Destiny. I have my own speed. Okay, I would like to use this Cup of Destiny since it's faster. I'm running out of 50 rings, though. All the rings that I've gained is going away. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's significantly better. I'm feeling much better about this now. Hmm. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Good boss. Good boss. Kind of wish I didn't have Super right now. Regretting things a bit. Because I'm not going to have Super for the final boss. What happened to- what? Why is Eggman just- <laughs> Why is Robotnik attached to Knuckles? What? What was that? That was so odd. I must have beaten Robotnik too fast. Yeah, now I'm in trouble. Yeah, now I'm in big trouble. Because... Is that Robotnik's face in that? I don't know. I have glitched this game something great. Yeah, now I have no rings for this. Which is really bad. I would had I not been in Super. Or I had more. So we'll see how this goes. I could have sworn this was a different boss fight. Like, I thought this was the fight in Sonic and Knuckles, and Sonic 3 had something different. Because Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you can combine Sonic and Knuckles, and basically... Well, simply put, you play Sonic 3 and then you move on to Sonic and Knuckles, no stopping, except you don't have the final boss. But I could have sworn this is the final boss in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but there's something else in Sonic 3. But apparently I am wrong. That was close. I don't know. I'm very confused as to what's going on. But I'm also very close to beating him. I think I just won unless something else happens. Something else is happening. Yep. True final boss. Hmm. Well then. Yes, that. <laughs> Interesting. So basically, what you have here are three bosses in a row. The second phase of this fight would not be here had you, uh, had you not. Yeah, you get the idea. Oh, what? No. No, give me a ring. Any ring. Give me two. Yes, that works. Okay, bye, Tails. <laughs> right, that was amazing. Okay, so, we know that I can beat the first section without losing any rings. We've done that before. So it's all down to second phase, and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so, yay. 
I totally glitched out Robotnik there. That was really weird. Yeah, and he's not in the Metal Girder anymore. That was like there was just a really red face of him. So weird. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh well. Right, here we go. The magic is about to happen. All over again. As long as I don't screw this up somehow, I'll be fine. Thing is, I have no idea how to stop the second phase. Four. Yeah, I don't have a clue. So that should be interesting. So basically two hits to go. Seagulls are cheering me on. Or saying die till die, one of the two. Right, here we go. Let's see just how difficult this is. start, but as long as I have one ring, that's all that matters. Okay, I thought that was how this was going to work. Take your grabby hands away from me. Ah, not good, not good. Bounce, bounce. Thank you. I don't know how many hits this has, probably eight. I imagine. Oh dear, not good, not good. Really not good. I am dead. I'm going to die, there is no doubt about it. I would have to have precise movement throughout this entire boss battle and that's not gonna happen. That was super close. What? No, I hit you though! Oh, that's such a dumb jump. Like, it's really specific. It's really hard to control just how much, how high Sonic actually goes. Oh well, I guess I'll just cut to when I get there. Well, that makes this much easier. Wow! Alright then! Bye, Tails. Okay, I think I got this now. I think I understand more of how this works. Oh, balls. Ah! Okay, wasn't prepared for that. I have a ring, though. Okay, noted. Don't attack him.
four. Presumably four to go. Just need to time these two hits perfectly, and then I should win. Seven. Come on. Yes! There it is! Whew! That's the game. How big an explosion do you think that would be? Okay. Not that big as it turns out. I thought it was going to hit the floor. <laughs> like, I say, how big an explosion would that be? Yeah, I'm super. Oh, nice. It's not a compilation piece. That's quite nice. Well, I beat Sonic 3. There it is. Sonic 3 has been beaten. And yet, it's not over. As I did mention before... Yes, there is a Sonic and Knuckles, and if you, I believe how it works is you put in Sonic and Knuckles, take out the cartridge, and then replace Sonic 3, and yeah, pretty much you can do Sonic 3 with Sonic and Knuckles tagged onto the end, and it is different, there's more to it, and yeah, it's kind of cool that way. Um, however, there's also, the same goes for two other games. Take out Sonic and put in Sonic and Knuckles, take it out, put in Sonic 2, you can play as Knuckles in Sonic 2, and I will do a little bonus video uh, on that. Uh, but there's also, you know, another game, Sonic 1. Well, that doesn't work quite the same way. You see, this little idea probably came about in Sonic 2. Um, or at least the technology was different uh, when Sonic 2 was made, and they were able to do this. Um, Sonic 1, it didn't have the same technology, or they hadn't planned for it, or whatever. So, it doesn't work that way. Instead, when you put in Sonic 1, you get basically an unlimited Blue Spheres game. And by unlimited, I mean there are millions upon millions of levels, which... I, they're not randomised, they are generated in a specific way, but... Yeah, there's so many of them. I'm not going to do them all, obviously, but I will do a 30 plus minute video of just showing off what it's like, so... Yeah, it's, uh, well, maybe not as funny. I don't know how long it'll be. Point being, it's, you know, it's pretty cool. There's, uh, there's a huge selection of them. There's lots to do. It's, uh, it's a pretty interesting idea, and I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, it was very original back in the day. Um, but here is Sonic 3. I wanted to show off Sonic 3, because Sonic 3 does have a different ending. Um, obviously, and a different boss fight that you wouldn't get if you didn't experience Sonic and Knuckles. So I'm going to play through Sonic 3 and Knuckles on my own, to this point, and then just, sh I don't know, show me killing the final boss, and oh, we're in Sonic and Knuckles, look at that, so, yeah, I will, that'll be next time, next time will be Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, but for now, this has been Sonic 3, and I hope you enjoyed it, I'm genuinely surprised that I got all the Chaos Emeralds, but, uh, I spent two hours on this, it was fun, I enjoyed it, I'm slightly exhausted now, but, you know, I had fun with it, it was good, it was a lot of fun, it's, it's a great game, so, no, it was, uh, it's fun to do, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it was, it was an adventure, that's what it was.
And there's Sonic 3. Next time, Sonic 3 & Knuckles. See you then. Bye.